Hey there Lincoln Riffers, this is Asaf Levavi from LincolnRiff.com and in this video I'm gonna test out this little beauty, it's the Siegel Merlin. It's a new instrument, a brand new instrument by Siegel. Um, it's kind of a mix between a dulcimer and a banjo. And it's a diatonic instrument. Okay, you can play it uh, by strumming it or by using your fingers. I'm gonna test it out, I'm gonna improvise a little something on it. I'm gonna try and improvise a little something on it. And then we're gonna talk about this instrument a little. I wasn't asked to do this video, by the way, not by Siegel nor by anyone else. This belongs to a friend of mine, he bought this and um, I just fell in love with it. Tried it out and couldn't stop playing. So I'm gonna try and improvise something so you can see if you like it. And then we're gonna talk a bit about this instrument. So let's try. This was turned out to be kind of a Scottish, Irish, banjo-ish thing, so let's try a bit of finger style and see how that works on this. Same thing, let's try. takes later.
it's a very versatile instrument. Um, I just toyed around with it a little. Um, this is tuned in D5. Okay, it's D, A, and D. Now this, went out of tune a little, but it doesn't matter, it's new strings. Um, this, this string, the high D string, is actually a double string. It's kind of like on a 12 string guitar, it's a double string, so it produces a really nice sound. And even if it's a bit out of tune, it creates that, um, you know, that um, sitarish sound. Now, it's a diatonic instrument. Okay. So, it's D major throughout, even though if you use the A string, it's A major, but it's still tuned to B and D major. So as you see, you can come up with a lot of ideas on this, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate or an advanced player. I recommend this to anyone because it's a lot of fun to just sit around and play with it, even if you don't know what you're doing. I didn't know what, I'm, uh, what I was doing when I started this video, and as you saw, it took a couple of takes um, to try the finger style, but eventually I found a couple of ideas, and if I sit around uh, and play with it a couple more days, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come up with neat little melodies. So, the Seagull Merlin, if you like it, go get one. It's not an expensive instrument and it's really nice to have this around to toy around with, even if you just do this. Okay, and you see, it's, it's music without, without thinking too much. Okay, no, this is ugly. Okay, this is nice. Find, you can find chords pretty easily on this. Just try out new shapes. Mm. See? Just use your imagination, use your fingers, try new stuff, and you'll come up with great little melodies on this. Um, so. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.